Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited yet another day because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make delicious fried chicken gizzards. This recipe right here, it's bomb. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make it Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my fried chicken gizzards before. You better make you some. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. Of course, you're going to need some nice, fresh chicken gizzards. I was able to find mine at Walmart. And I've bought two packages and I've washed them off with salt, lemon juice, cold water, and then I've pat them dry. You're gonna need some fresh eggs. So right here we have some large fresh eggs. You're gonna need some milk. You can use buttermilk or you can use regular 2%, any kind of milk you have. So right here I'm using 2%. You are going to need some apple cider vinegar. This apple cider vinegar will be used to tenderize our gizzards. And we're gonna make a dipping sauce today to go with the gizzards. And we're gonna use some hot sauce, we're gonna use some creamy French ranch dressing, and also some mayonnaise. And you're gonna need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you need this way. You will need some garlic, salt, and black pepper. Right here we have some oil in our pan. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple, yet so tasty recipe fried chicken gizzards. Let me know, have you ever tasted them? I know that there are so many people that's never tasted them. Listen here, if you never tasted them, boy, you are in for an amazing recipe that you're going to love. Now, here's what we're going to do. The first thing that you need to do is, like I said, wash them off, okay? You're going to see a couple of things on the gizzards. Take it off, okay? And it's that simple. Discard that, okay? And some of it, it just peels off really easy. You know, it's kind of like just chicken skin, right? Get that off of there just like so. And you want to examine the gizzard. This is what it should look like. That's nice and fresh. And then you might see a little bit more stuff. You can use your knife just like this to get it a little loose and then peel it off. Just like so. I'm going to go all through these gizzards until I get each and every one of them nice and clean. And then I'm going to give them another rinse off just like so. So now that we have all of our gizzards nice and clean, I rinse them off one more time and then I pat them dry with a paper towel. Let's go ahead and season them. I'm going to use garlic salt. Garlic salt is delicious on chicken gizzards, okay? And then we're gonna use some black pepper. I know we're good, but, but listen what we're gonna do. We are gonna take these, okay? Let's get those spices all around. We're gonna take these and you need to boil them. Let's talk about something really quickly. This is very important. Now, you can make gizzards and there's a possibility that they can turn out tough. But guess what? Today in this video, I'm gonna share with you all how you can make them and they're gonna be nice and tender. They're gonna be like butter. That's how soft they're gonna be. So you season them. We're gonna let these seasonings kind of seep down into this beautiful chicken. And then we're gonna make our way over to the stove behind me. I have a pan with boiling water in it. We're gonna salt that water and we're gonna put um, some apple cider vinegar in our water. The apple cider vinegar will help to assist with the tenderize process. Okay, so we're gonna let these boil for around about a half an hour. We're gonna take one out and taste it and see how tender it is. So we're over here at our boiling water. Let's go ahead, put a little bit of salt into our water, just a little tiny bit. And then the apple cider vinegar, like I said, this is gonna help to assist to get your chicken uh, gizzards nice and tender. Okay, after a half an hour, we're gonna come back. We're gonna pull one out and see how tender it is. And guess what? If it's not tender enough, we're gonna let it keep boiling. And then we'll go back in and keep checking on them, all right, just to see how tender they've got. But one thing that I wanna do, let's talk about this really quickly. Okay, so you don't want the chicken gizzards to be so tender to where when you fry them, that they're gonna to fry to a crisp to where they're tough to eat, 
Okay, so I'm gonna let you know exactly how long we cook these and then exactly how long you should cook them in your oil so that they're nice and tender after you fry them. Cause keep in mind, we're gonna cook them two times. <laughs> So we cooked our chicken gizzards and they only took 20 minutes to get nice and tender. Okay, so what I did was I sliced down into one nice and tender, but it's halfway tender. We're going to let it get fully tender when we fry it. Now let's go ahead and make our dredging set up here. We're going to go ahead and crack a couple of eggs. Now in this mixture, if you like, you can put some hot sauce in there if you want it to, okay? just to flavor things up a little bit. All right, these are beautiful fresh eggs. I know there are so many different recipes how to make chicken gizzards. Let me know in the comment section how you make yours. And then again, there's a lot of people that's never ever tried them or heard of them. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some milk or buttermilk Get it in there, and then we're gonna take a fork or the whisk, just like so. We wanna break up the eggs and get the eggs well incorporated with the milk. If you decide you wanna put some hot sauce in there, go ahead. Beautiful. So our dredging station will be the eggs and the milk and the flour, and that's it. And we're gonna get a golden brown crispiness onto these gizzards that you won't be able to forget. And we have Prince and Polo. We have Prince right there on the right. Look up, guys. And we have Polo on the right. Say hi. Prince is not interested right now. <laughs> so the first thing that I want to do is show you what the gizzards look like after coming out of the water. This is what they look like. Okay, now what I did was I took them and I put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes so that they could cool down really quickly. Okay, normally I'll just let them sit on the counter, but since we're doing a video, you put them in the refrigerator, let them cool down so you can dredge them. Because you can't put hot anything into this egg mixture because you would make scrambled eggs and we're not looking for that. So we've cooled the gizzards down. It only took about uh, seven to 10 minutes. Now here's what we're gonna do with the fresh garlic. I like to use the side of my knife just to, you know, take off the skin. We're gonna leave this whole. We're gonna do something really interesting. We're gonna flavor that oil. We want for our oil to turn into a garlic infused oil and this is how we're gonna do it. It's a little broken up, but guess what? It's okay. Throw it in your oil. Give that oil some garlic flavor and listen here. Try it next time you even fry some chicken or whatever you're gonna do. And then you can take the garlic out, you know, after it fries and it seasons up your oil. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and start dredging. Let me take my bling off. I'm gonna start dredging these gizzards. Here's how it's done. We have our egg mixture. But the first thing you want to do is let's go into the dried mixture, okay? Just like so, if you're a little squeamish, oh, you can use gloves, you know? Do like that. Always start off putting something dry onto it. Get it into your egg and your milk mixture. If you used hot sauce, absolutely, that's fine, okay? We're gonna get that egg well coated, all right? And then, you're gonna put them into the flour. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do this two times. We wanna double dip them so they can be extra crispy. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do that. Now, I know you can use a dried hen and a wet hen. I never do because somehow I always wind up battering my fingers. So I don't freak out about it. I just use both hands. <laughs> really, I do. I just use both hands and I worry about washing my hands later. See how we're going in that second time? Just like this, it's gonna give you that extra crispiness. And back into, you know, the flour and coat it. After it's been coated for the second time, we'll move them over this way. Meanwhile, our oil is getting hot and infused with the garlic. When I come back, I'll show you what to do next. So we've dredged all of our chicken gizzards and here's what they should look like. All right, now what we're gonna do, let's take a little bit of this flour, we're gonna put it into the oil. If it sizzles right away, just like that, guess what? Your oil is hot enough, but 
Let's talk about this. If you take some of the flour, you put it in your oil and you see it drop straight down to the bottom, it's not hot enough, don't put anything in there, okay? So now give them a nice shake into the oil we go and if you don't see that sizzle, don't put any more in. Has to be hot in order for you to get that beautiful, nice crispiness that we're looking for. We're gonna cook these until they get that perfect golden brown color that we all love when you think of fried chicken. I know this is not fried chicken, but it kinda is because it's fried chicken gizzards. If you never tasted them before, taste them Gina Young style, and then you come back and let me know what you think about this recipe right here. So now while our gizzards are cooking, let's go ahead and take this time to make up a sauce. I was gonna use the uh, French dressing. We're not gonna use it. I wanna switch things up and use what I usually like to use. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in with some hot sauce. If you love a little bit of heat, use a nice amount, okay? All dependent on what your loved ones enjoy. We're gonna go in with some mayo. This is Hellman's mayo. You could actually use a little bit of uh, Miracle Whip if that's the mayonnaise that you like, okay? And then we're gonna use honey. This is my go-to dipping sauce. When I make something like chicken tenders, or let's just say I fried up some shrimp or something like that, this sauce right here, magnificent. All right, so we're gonna mix it up just like so. After we get this mixed up, we'll take a peek in at the pan and I'll show you what your gizzard should look like. So let's talk about the timing. The timing of uh, how long we boiled the gizzards, 20 minutes. We put them in the refrigerator, let them chill out for about 10 minutes to cool down. We dredged them and now we've cooked the uh, gizzards in the oil, in the garlic infused oil, for around about, just about 10 minutes until they got that beautiful golden brown color. Look at that baby right there. Now we're gonna go right on to this beautiful paper towel. You have to use the paper towel. Or you can use a cooling rack. So, you know, you want the oil to drain. The worst thing that you want is for your loved ones to bite down into these gizzards and they have a lot of oil. By setting them onto this paper towel, that oil will be able to drain. Take a look over here. We got an amazing sauce that tastes delicious. When I come back, I'm gonna say an amazing prayer. You all are gonna get that first bite. Take a look at it, everybody. Fried chicken gizzards, Gina Young style. Make you some. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer. You all get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we wanna thank you for another beautiful day today. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, peace, and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer, I know gonna give y'all a bite right now oh is this one for me look at that look at that oh you see it uh-huh and this right here oh, a little dippity dip come on in and take a bite and it's nice and tender and as always god bless you all thank you all for watching good night